Good afternoon. The reason that Ferdinand and Isabella supported Columbus in his scheme to find the new world was their hope was that he would find the fountain of life. The Spaniards didn't want gold for their present. Uh, they wanted that, but they also wanted that fountain for the future, for they wanted life that lasted forever. Now let's talk about that fountain of life on today's Senior Insights. Ponce de Leon went from island to island drinking the water looking for this fountain of life but with no effect. In fact it was on Easter Sunday that he landed on what he thought was another island and he called it Florida. They drank the water from many springs, hunted all over the place for him, but no miracles. In fact, instead, uh, Ponce de Leon eventually was found dead by an Indian arrow and the search ended. But what a search it was. Man's obsessed with that fountain of life. And Alexander the Great was told of a fountain in Arabia that would make a man immortal uh, if he could just drink but one drop. That legend has become part of cultures all over the world. And texts even on the, in the pyramids in Egypt talk about an everlasting beverage and, and the water of life. They always find death, however, instead of life. This is the folly of man through all of history. In Jeremiah 2.13, God describes this universal conflict. It says, For my people have committed two evils. They forsake me, the fountain of living waters, and hew out cisterns for themselves, broken cisterns that can't even hold water. You know, the reason men are forever seeking for this fountain of life is that they refuse to take on the water of life as a gift, free gift from God. They do not want it as a gift of grace. They want it because they earned it, a result of their own labor and, and discovery. So they can say, I found it. And they did. Uh, if they did, uh, they could say that they lived in forever. And, and by their own wits and works, man can do a lot of things with life. Doctors in our day and age really do marvelous things, but they can't make it start and they can't make it last. The origin and going of life on and on is all in God's hands. Man can prolong life for some time, but only God can make it permanent. The potential for this permanent life, as well as abundant life, is what Easter was all about. Jesus is the fountain men have ever searched for. Man loves life, and generally so, naturally. For God made him that way, men and women. They thirst for everlasting life. It's something that's built in. It's a God-given thirst. But it can only be quenched uh, by God. He's the only one. The Bible gives clear directions to the treasure that man desperately seek. Even in Proverbs 14, 27, it says, The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. And Revelation 7, 17 says, For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and who will lead them to springs of living water. Revelation 21, we can read that uh, a climactic statement about this fountain of life. Jesus said, it's done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without price from the fountain of the water of life. Now, just last week, we celebrated Easter. And it's a reminder, dear ones, that Jesus Christ alone has the power over death. He proved that. He walked out of the grave. And only because of that can we have eternal life, only through him. 
Dear ones, do you feel that longing to drink from the fountain of life? John 5, 24, Jesus tells us, I tell you the truth. Those who listen to my message and believe in God who sent me have eternal life. They will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. What a promise. Most of us have heard his teaching in John 3.16. Uh, this is uh, how God so much loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone, anyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Let's stop hunting for it some other way. There's only one fountain of life and that is in Jesus Christ himself. John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, he said. Beloved, place your trust in Jesus Christ, the loving God, and your hunt for that fountain of life, eternal life, will be secure. Now, I had a dear friend, I really loved him, who always ended a radio show he had with the comment, I don't want to be in heaven without you. And I feel that way even about you. We've not met, but wouldn't it be tragic that when the time comes for this old body to quit working, that you didn't already have Jesus Christ in your life? He is the only source of life everlasting. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Contact me and if you're not sure, and let's talk about how you can know that you will live forever through Jesus. Oh, he wants you to be his, and he wants you to be eternally secure in him. He rose from that grave because death could not hold him, and all who are in him have no death has no power over only in Jesus bless you let's have our weekly blessing oh may the Lord bless you and protect you may the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you may the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace everlasting peace dear ones go to him for everlasting life have a blessed week